Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters and Adventures. So, in today's video, we are back with another episode. This is going to be episode 8, and let's see what we can accomplish in today's episode. So, I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, smash the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, guys, so to start off, I did join a new team, and um, I didn't create it, by the way. I'm not the leader or anything like that. I was actually just invited, um, and it's actually one of my subscribers, one of you guys. Um, so, huge thanks to Daniel for actually creating this team, and right now, the team is actually open, but it actually requires some re requirements basically uh of course make sure you're active like really active in the game or else you'll end up getting booted later on of course uh but if you would like to um have a chance to actually play alongside me go ahead and you know join monster gaming mini team um i don't think this will be a competitive team that's for sure but um yeah if you guys are interested in joining a friendly active team then go ahead and check this out all right um so let me see i'm all the way at the bottom i'm not surprised look at me with only 212 monster power i have an idea look at this ready Ah, <laughs> who's at the top now? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, guys, again, I'm not one of the leads, so I can't really do much, you know what I mean? So if you guys are interested in joining, go ahead and do so. We'll start a war very soon. So it's going to be my first team war on my baby account. Again, that's the name right there if you would like to join it. Um, some of the players actually um, already seen um, because I think I have them added or so. Uh, but they have probably noticed that I was in this team, so they went ahead and basically joined early. Um, that's why it's almost full, so make sure to go ahead and join it. I'm sure this... <laughs> This team will definitely be full by the time I actually upload this video, probably the first hour or so. But if it's not, then, you know, go ahead and use as your advantage and join if you want. But anyways, guys, that aside, uh, in terms of resources, we're doing actually pretty well, uh, aside from my gems, of course. Like, look at my gold. I have 6.23 million, which is actually quite a lot. It's like two or three times more than what I had the previous episode. Um, but basically, I wanted to actually clear out some of the rocks. That's why I just removed those two right there. And um, I've also... I also worked out on these big farms, so all three of these farms are now big, um, they're like level 2, you don't have to get them to level 3, that's just a suggestion by the way, um, but if you can get it to level 2, that'd be nice, by the way, I did unlock the ultra breeding tree, this is really really helpful, if you could pick this up very early, I recommend doing it, because um, it's gonna help you out, you know what I mean, you, you can actually breed more than one monster, you can use more than one of those breeding temples, you know what I mean, so um, definitely, definitely, you know, go ahead and purchase that but here is another tip make sure to only do it when there's a discount so you can actually save out on a lot of gems because who doesn't want to save on gems right so i highly recommend just waiting on discounts and that will help you out a lot i do have to get rid of these tiny rocks these tiny rocks are super annoying it keeps getting in my way but here, since I already purchased this island, here's what I recommend doing, by the way, guys. So, for those of you that are starters, right, um, I'm sure you're following along with the series. So, here's the thing. Um, if you're not using this little island, let me tell you, let me give you guys a good tip. Here's what you want to do. You want to move these worker huts. You see these? Yeah. You can actually put it in use and move all those worker huts. You can actually get up to five of them. So, I'm sure all five can actually fit in there. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's actually enough space to actually fit all five. Um, but I'm sure you can actually work something out in there. But definitely put it in use and basically place all your worker huts in here. This little island. So it, it can definitely be helpful. Either your, you know, worker huts or it's actually big enough to actually fit like one or two of these temples in there as well. So I highly recommend using this um, in your advantage. So look at that. I just placed that there and now I have more space there. You know what I mean? But if you want to go ahead and move the temple of nature there back you can uh, but here is another thing that i kind of want to do and that is to purchase one of these boosts these boosts actually help you out quite a lot so let me show you guys real quick so if you head over to the buildings we should actually have access to them if not ah man it's gonna be later on we don't have access to them but um, later on, we'll be unlocking these things called boosts, uh, gold boosts. Let's just call it that because I think that's what it's called. Uh, but basically, that will help you out a lot, okay? Um, you can do so much with it. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what level it is. But later on, once you level up a little more, you'll be able to um, access that. So it looks like the next island will cost 2 million gold. We do have enough gold. So I guess we can go ahead and purchase the next island early because why not? Um, we're just rich like that. So we might as well, right? But anyways, the only thing that's really bothering me is the two worker huts. I only have two of them, which kind of sucks. You can get an extra one from the Legends Pass if you if you purchase the Legends Pass. But we're going to keep this account free to play once again. Um, and like I mentioned, this whole island will soon be full of pandakins. 
so we're going to be doing a panic and farming of course we're going to finish it up it's just that these little re rebels and we, ha we have to basically just get rid of them you know what i mean they're in the way um and i i mean I don't, I don't know if I should really move this because I can't really fit another habitat in there. So there's really no point of me moving that. But maybe we can actually keep all our farms on this island or something. You know what I mean? So we can keep all farms in here. Um, and then these breeding and hatcheries, we can move them somewhere else. Although for racing, it's actually best if you move this and your breeding, both of your breedings over here. Like, you see where these habitats are? It's best to move them in here because, um, especially if you purchase this pass. That's only if you purchase the pass, by the way. If you have access to premium pass, you know what I mean? This extra hatch right here. It's best only if you have access to that. If not, then you don't have to worry about it. Because um, some of the nodes, you have to, like, hatch multiple eggs, right? Um, and it's just, like, really easy. So you can just hatch it easily by tapping in there. For me, the, the reason why it takes me to Legends Pass is because I don't have access to it, right? But if I did have access to it, you could continue, like, doing the tasks very... Um, quickly and it can help you out you know you can gain a lot of points but anyways um right now i'm not really focusing on the unique monsters i know i only have like nine of them and it does help you with the book rewards it gives you some nice resources but um i'd rather just not honestly i'm focusing on getting like lots of these um what's it called mythics mythics are like literally best if you could get mythics early game it helps you out quite a lot um it helps you more than anything else honestly mythic monsters literally uh legendary monsters aren't bad either but anyways are these war coins? Oh, the special currency. Yeah, for the one thing, the, the one challenge. That was a long time ago. Uh, we do have one chest for Tundork. It's 12 cells. And speaking about Tundork, PvP, right? It reminds me of PvP. We're going to head over to PvP real quick. And um, I actually did quite a lot of battles in here. Um, it's just that I don't have access to the battle pass. So basically, what that means is that I won't be able to... Um, put them in queue you know what i mean so i can open up all of them at once so it kind of sucks i gotta do it one by one you know just like the free to play players but um yeah i guess we're gonna have to deal with it right <laughs> we get a tier one you know my baby account is actually super super unlucky in terms of tier x i don't know if that's just like me maybe you guys are having access uh, or what's it called you guys are having this issue as well for your baby account if you guys are running one but like i don't know it's just I keep getting like tier 1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s. That's all. I haven't gotten any tier 5 or 6s at all. I don't know why. And tier 7s, of course. But anyways, so... Um, let me see if I have any of these tickets here. Nope, I spent them all. <laughs> I spent all of them. Let me see if I have any in the battle pass here. I'm not sure if I claimed it. Oh, never mind. We got 10 in here. And 5 monk flame cells. Okay, so here. Um, we are going to speed this up real quick because this... Yeah, yeah it should be enough. So we're going to go ahead and speed it up, get this tier 3, and before we activate the other ones, let me go ahead and fight and see what we're going to get out of this. Hopefully it's a tier 5, my first tier 5 ever. Um, if not, I'm um, probably going to get something worse. I'm going to call it, it's going to be a tier 5 and it's going to be my first tier 5 of basically this season. I'm not sure about the previous seasons if I've gotten any, but this season for sure I haven't gotten a tier 5 or 6. But, ah uh, man, a tier 3. Okay, um, how much, how long did these take? 30 minutes? We might as well start unlocking these ones, right? And if I have any of these tickets, okay, so 30 minutes, two, two, two tokens, we can add that up. It should be, um, the 30 minutes and our ticket goes away. But let's see, please, please, please give me a tier 5 or 6, man. Please. Um, although I can't really craft any of these monsters, I know, but it's just nice getting those tier 5s and above, you know what I mean? Um, especially for this account because I haven't gotten it yet, so please give me something. Haha, <laughs> look at all these tier 1s and 3s and stuff, man. It really sucks. It really sucks. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, but anyways, guys, so with that being said, let me collect my food real quick. And what's the next thing to do? Um, I haven't really unlocked the temples. The temples will definitely come in handy. This will actually help you out a lot. Um, but right now, we don't really have to worry about it because we unlock it at level 33. Um, and what's really important is unlocking this next, uh, the, the monster lab. The monster lab helps you out a lot. So if you could unlock that next, that'd be nice. Let's head over to adventure map. We still have like 37 more stamina points we might as well go ahead and use them and of course we're going to use our charm list but we don't really have access to the um auto option thingy yet you know what i mean like in the top we don't have access to that yet um which kind of sucks but anyways two stars let's go ahead and take that we also get lots of and lots of xp we might as well go ahead and reach level 18 for this um uh, video right 
let's do it let's do it for this episode we're gonna reach level 18 and we, we're, we're gonna have to actually fight the cupid it looks like did we just unlock dungeon or no i had access to dungeon already it just gave me the notification i don't know that's kind of weird um but anyways we're gonna go ahead and fight it and i know that these two monsters are already like kind of leveled up let's go ahead and use some of the other monsters that i want to level up like these two other panicans that are like level sevens let's get them to level 10 um so basically you just put them in here because i know charmless will definitely solo all of them right just like that charmless is going to carry and you see it in the bottom it kind of like feeds them up for you which is really nice so we get three stars here uh, for this and i actually got look at the score it's higher than my main account <laughs> oh man all right let's see what we're gonna get out of this it's going to be 1.5k food and here we go this is the boss kupig um oh it's called wild kupig in here it's a level 14 has hardened it should be easy i mean trums is going to just solo them i one of my monsters is definitely going to die no wait maybe not look at this look how easy it is with trumless guys it is just so easy um so they went ahead and got fed a little more they're still at level seven though uh, so it doesn't really feed too much but it still kind of does the job you know what i mean you might as well go ahead and do it it's better than nothing you know what i mean it's better than um having what's it called um uh, one of your other maxed out monsters because they won't really get a turn in anyway so it doesn't really matter um you might as well go ahead and use it right so we went ahead and sold all of those guys and these guys are almost leveled up but besides that we're almost at level 18 by next battle we will be at level 18 ladies and gents so let's see what we got in here um let me go ahead and take this team stamina level one level 17 we're gonna fight it looks like there's a score peg and a pyrook um again if you have a legendary or a mythic these nodes should be super super easy and Tromless level 40, just the level 40, right? Will definitely be able to carry me to at least, I'd say like around, you guys know where Lord of Atlantis is? That one island with Lord of Atlantis. I think it's going to carry me up to there. And then from there on, um, I'm going to have to level it up or so. But anyways, level 18, um, as you guys can see, we just reached it. And it says new futures, reach level 20 to unlock the Monster Lab. Um, so did we really unlock anything new? That's my question. Um, so 75 jumps for 100k food. I'm gonna just pass on that. Repair the beast. Oh yeah, did, wait. Did we just unlock this? I think we did, no? I'm not sure. 1.5 million. We can't really rebuild it though. Oh wait, we can. <laughs> the thing is almost done. I think it's done now, yeah. So we can actually go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and repair this rebuild and as you guys could see we just repaired the beast um so basically soon we'll be able to use the beasts in here uh, you'll you can actually get the shards in the dungeon um so they can actually kind of help you out in battle you know what i mean giving you some type of like for example tortures in the beginning of the battle it, it applies it to the enemies and then also some of the other ones does different things like boost your strength give you more life it's kind of cool also i want to tell you guys about something else um so this got added today and if you don't see it you might have to update your game but it's the events board so basically with this you can actually just check out all the um, new events and the ones coming up uh, for me i can't really tap on the upcoming ones like the 21st 22nd and so on uh, for some reason it doesn't really allow me i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that um, but there's a grag shock breeding event there is some other stuff going on like spectra breeding event that's cool so basically you can just access like almost everything not everything but almost everything you know what i mean like for example the maze um apparently i'm tapping on it it's not taking me but if you actually tap on the rune lords in the left side it actually takes you straight to rune lords so you can check your score and then you can check like the new year's resolution challenge straight like that super easy by tapping on it uh there's also the maze if you want to access the maze super quickly for don't worry about my coins you don't have to worry about it just just don't mind just just don't mind it okay just don't mind it all right um but anyways there's some other stuff that you can actually check out but i'm sure um they'll uh, release and add more stuff in there um but yeah sadly my mantra lab i gotta unlock that soon but anyways besides all of that guys the race results we don't gotta worry about it because we didn't really qualify i mean i wasn't really in a team during that race anyway so it doesn't really matter you know what i mean um i re recently joined the team anyway so again if you want to join it then go ahead and check out monster gaming mini team um this is the lead and of course i'm all the way in the bottom that's how you know that it's me all right with the nine monster 
not really monster power. I was going to call that monster power, the unique monsters, but I'm sure that'll go up later on. Not sure when you're going to be watching this. But anyways, guys, um, if you are interested once again in joining, go ahead and do so. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Gens episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.